Hello. Here we go. This is this is our new home. This is Cozy Condo Gaming. Um, let me center myself and frame a little bit better. Uh, yeah, this is Cozy Condo Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Phantom Hourglass. The very first time I've ever played this. I'm excited. So, let's do this. Um, so we're going to name the character Cheese Touch, because that was the uh, popular vote. Let's get some sound going. There we go. Get that fairy fountain going. That is a little hard to see, isn't it? Delete, delete, delete. Oh, what are we doing here? Delete. I didn't plan this part ahead. Alright, let's see. Hang on. Pushing my mic back. Come on. If you hear the sound cut out, it's because the connection to the console itself, the, the gamepad that I'm using, has to connect to the console. And there's a camera in the way. So that's neat. Okay. Is this name okay? It is... It is okay. Yes. Do you hold the stylus? I'm left-handed. Cool. I do use my left hand. Yeah. That's why everything's so awkward. Start! Adventure! Adventure! Here we go! Phantom Hourglass. Our story begins not long ago. Dot dot dot. <laughs> there was a young girl, savvy to the seas, and head of a band of pirates. I immediately loved the music. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas to boldly go where no man had gone before. One day, on a stop at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. Hey, Kyle smells like pee pee. It's good to see you. <laughs> Call me poopy pants. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. Dot dot dot. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. I feel like I remember the story. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. Nice. He is huge and ominous. What are the odds? He carried Princess Zelda away. Dot, dot, dot. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. Creep. He's a creep. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. Dot, dot, dot. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. It's exciting stuff. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. This is the story of the Wind Waker, by the way, which is another Zelda game. Apparently this one takes place immediately after. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later. The two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands, dot dot dot. Yes, they set sail together. Yay, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. Great game. <laughs> then there's this guy. So what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? It's, uh, it's great, oh, do I have to tap? Do I have to tap? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? I knew that. Hey, cheese touch, are you sleeping, Swabby? No, I'm not sleeping, I'm wide awake. <laughs> cheese touch. Cheese touch. Cheese touch. Oh, that was Tetra speaking. What's Tetra's voice? Stop messing around down there. No, I can't I can't do a pirate voice, that hurt. You're both supposed to be on lookout. 
I'm awake. I'm great. I'm feeling great. <sighs> Jeez. Ha! <laughs> Some legendary hero you are. Who believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. <laughs> I told you not to call me Zelda. I'm not going to be doing great voice acting today, I'm sorry. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? He's the only character with a voice. What about all those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. It's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. G ghost Dot dot dot. Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? He's, he's Patrick. This is Patrick. Something about a spirit called the Ocean King? Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship, dot dot dot. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry, I gave her the wrong voice. There's no such there's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. It's always pirates, isn't it? I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. And remind them that there are rules to being pirates. He looks so done with everything. Like, can I just go home? I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. Uh, Tetra? Tetra? Tetra, you might turn around. Tetra? Hey, dot dot dot, look! Who's talking? Who said that? The air feels chilly, dot dot dot, eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. I think that was Nico talking. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, dot dot dot, I can see a ship, dot dot dot. Yeah, a ship, dot dot dot, up ahead. He says dot 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 a lot, doesn't he? Hey, that's a, a ship, a Stalfos, on the front. That's cool looking. It's a really cool looking boat. <laughs> stop saying dot 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 or I'm gonna dot 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 you upside the head. I will dot 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 never stop dot 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 saying dot 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 dot. It's, it's, dot, 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 the ghost ship. Cool. These waters really are cursed. Did you call yourself a pirate? It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship, dot, dot, dot. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You're a dot, dot, dope. You know, you hurt my feelings just now. I'm, I'm very sensitive about being called a dot, dot, dope specifically, and you've crossed the line. Bye. And she was never heard from again. Okay, she was heard that one time. Good. <laughs> Are you able to see what's going on? That screen is really tiny. Also, is it too loud? It's really loud to me, but I don't know if it's too loud for you. Bye, Link. Cheese touch. Oh boy. Cheese touch. I'll stop doing the dot dot dots just for you. Honestly, no. Honestly, no, you can't see the screen, or honestly, no, it's not too loud. Cheese touch. Cheese touch. I see you go away from the microphone, it sounds like I'm getting quieter. Further away, yeah, whatever, never mind. Save me, cheese touch! No, I don't wanna. I just did. I just saved you, Zelda, honestly. Is that Navi? That sounds like Navi. Oh, phew, you're awake. I don't wanna have to keep tapping the screen. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. I thought you died. I've been circling you for three hours. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm going to give her my normal voice just because I have a funny feeling it's going to be talking a lot. I'm Ciela. C-I-E-L-A. Ciela? Ciela? Sheila? We'll call her Sheila. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. So I won't tell you.
That's it. That's the whole game. What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her, and you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship that people have been talking about? No. No, it's a different one. It's a different ghost ship. The other one. They say that those it takes are never seen again. Thanks, that's what I wanted to hear. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Not really. Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. That's what worries me. Our house is up there, off the beach. Come on! Come on. Come on. Alright. Oh, can you walk? Of course I can walk. Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Oh, it's a style. I can't just use button controls. Oops. Uh, stop. Stop. No, wait. Menu. Okay, whatever. I'll just go back. We'll just we'll just walk everywhere with the stylus here. Here, here. In, into the into the house. I hope that was Grandpa's house. Hi. Thank God it's a human. Okay. Oh, hello, traveler. So your name is Cheese Touch. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Sheila told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. Okay. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Cheese Touch's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. Yeah, so does, uh, so does Zelda. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That's, w that's why I have to do something, Grandpa. He wouldn't be referring to himself in the third person, I don't think. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? No. Nah. Yes, I am. Young people. Eh, tisk tisk. There is a port to the east of here. Your east or my east? A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. Okay. You can kind of see it up in the top there. I want to tap the top screen. Let me tap the top screen. Oh. You mean that guy who came to vi- Oh, you mean that guy who came to visit, Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Cheese Touch and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Fine! I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Cheese Touch. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Cheese Touch. <laughs> Link looks so horrified at that. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Cheese Touch. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck, but you be careful out there. Okay. Okay. It'd be, it'd be pretty boring if there wasn't any, uh, can I break this? Hell yeah. Give me that rupee. I gotta walk into the rupee to collect it. <laughs> Boom. Boy, this is gonna be awkward for me who has tremors to be playing a game like this. I didn't realize this was how I moved. Honestly, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before I get used to that. Eh. So get ready for that. Get ready for this excitement. All right. So he said east. So I immediately head west. Let's go east instead. Actually, I'm heading west now. I forgot. I always forget which way is east and which way is west. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately, so many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Let's go east. Eh. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately, and that bridge breaks every time there's a big one. I'm gonna just get comfy real quick, hang on. There we go. My leg was falling asleep the way I was hitting. There's a second way to town to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a um, frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait for the bridge to get fixed.
Alright. So down brings the map. Okay. Alright. I'm just playing around with the controls. Obviously the bridge isn't going to get fixed. I gotta go. Now I'm going to go weast. I heard a cuckoo. Ho there, friend. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. Anyway, I've just had a bit of bad luck- a bad bit of luck with my garden here. That quake just heaved a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up, and then tap where you want to throw it. So this guy here? Is this guy here? Yeet! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cuckoo. I apologize. Is he gonna- Is he gonna fight me? We're we gonna fight? We're gonna fight? I'm gonna fight? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take this. Alright. Thanks a plenty. You really helped me out there. That's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please, I insist. How much? How much? We got a whole dollar. What's with the dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Fine. Here's a, here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a, fr a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. Uh, I don't bash trees. I don't know what you've heard. Okay, so that's up in the top corner there. In the top corner? I don't know if that's technically a corner. I'd recommend that you jot that down on your map before you forget it. Just scribble on your map, tap menu, then tap map. Menu. Map. Alright. Just a little note so I'll remember where it is. <coughs> no, you're mine. You're mine. You're my ki You're my chicken. Alright, fine. Um... What? Monsters, look out, cheese touch. It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Uh, I can avoid monsters, I'll have you know. I'm a bit of a monster avoiding man. I did actually get hit by a monster. Oh. Like I said, I'm great at this. Okay. Alright, I should have gone back. I should have listened to Sheila. I'm so sorry. No! Ah! Alright. Alright, stay away. Stay away from me, please. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Thank you. So let's, uh, can I, can I pull these up out of the ground? Oh, this is gonna have a heart in it, right? Yeah, look at all that rupee and not a heart. Good news, I'm up 10 rupees. Wait. I keep putting my hand right directly over the speaker, so if it sounds weird, that's why. There's a heart. Yay. That's nothing. Just, just one and a half more hearts, please. Or just, just no more hearts. How about that? How about no more hearts? Hey, sorry, uh, Oceus. I'm gonna break into your house and break all your pots, then run away. What? Wow, run away. I forgot how to talk. There he is. Uh, there's, uh, what's this say? To the port. Cool. Well, now what? How do you expect me to defend myself? Wait, there's another house over this way. I didn't even go in the house, did I? Maybe someone's got a weapon? You there. I've heard that ghost ship is on the prowl again. Stealing more islanders is so very dangerous. Thanks. Such great advice. Such a good, such a good advice. Oh, he's afraid of me now. Oh, look at your map. I, I got that. How do I... How do I do the thing? Do I double... I've accidentally rolled a few times. I don't know. I don't remember how to roll. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so if I go up here, this way is infested with monsters. But it's the only way. It's the only way! Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, stay away from me, please. Don't look at me. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> yeah. New record for uh, fastest death in any Zelda game, I think. We're gonna keep playing, though. It's too dangerous to run by weapon. My monsters with no weapon cheese touch. Let's head back to my grandpa's house and ask him what to Oh, okay. You see, I just had to, uh, find a weapon. 
I really hope there's some button inputs at some point in this game, because I, I do not like using the stylus. My arm is already tired. Grandpa. Tried the path to the north, did ya? Sheila, don't pretend you forgot. I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, cheese touch. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get a red repairing the bridge. So that was it? That was your only advice? Alright. Well, Grandpa wants to stay out of trouble. We need to find your friend. If only you found a sword, you can show those monsters. So show me where to find a sword. Yeet. Alright. Uh, oh. How about in here? That could be a sword. I don't need health right now. We're back at full health, which is not a lot of health. Yeet. There's a heart. Awesome. Could always go for an extra health. Okay. Alright. Grandpa uses this cave as a storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Uh, okay, so now I gotta get out and uh, figure out how many palm trees are on the beach. Okay, Grandpa uses this cave as a storehouse. Uh, so... Activate the sign. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask first. Oceus. Um, let's see. Seven. Yay, we did it. You get to enjoy my crappy handwriting. My first chest. I got Oceus's sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus on the touchscreen. You found a sword. Oh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Alright. I also want to break your stuff. Ooh. Boy, that is irritating. Using the sword. Basics number one. Use the stylus to swing your sword. Tapping and drawing lines quickly is the key to deft sword play. Okay. Ha! Ah. Okay. Can't break barrels with my sword. Alright, I didn't... You're going to be hearing that a lot. I really wish there were button controls. You two are, pro you two are pro proven to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We, can, we can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Don't tell me I have to kill Grandpa. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Cheese Touch. Come alone. Okay, I followed him to his house. Cheese Touch. So you have a sword. Then know what that. Then know that even the best swords can be bad if mishandled. That is. So I must teach you the basics of sword play. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. I don't want to practice. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. Boom. Bang. Boom. And dead. Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock on enemies, you hit the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires a little practice. Simply sketch to slash. Okay. All right. It looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. And finally, we have the spin attack. Slide the stylus in a circle around yourself to spin it attacks. Cheese touch. Draw big circles. Big circle. Big circle. Ho oh, ho ho! If you unleash too many spin attacks in a row, you'll get dizzy. Everything in moderation, little one. Alright. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out amongst the monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Yeah. 
Thank you, Grandpa. Bye. I think I nailed it. Uh, this is going to be a long playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> no button controls. I wonder... Uh, dead. 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 I wonder if uh, Spirit Tracks is the same way. What is this? Boing! Want to do a somersault? Scribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Uh, roll into that big tree and see where that shakes loose. Roll too much, Harvey, and you'll get dizzy. Uh, you're, a, you're a threat. Oh, I can do this. There we go. Look at me go. Look at me go! Alright. Mountain passage. Cool. It's locked. Alright. Dead, 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 dead. Alright. I love the uh, how this game looks. It's a very, very cool looking game. Got a small key. Touch the door to open it. I don't like how Link's, Link's head looks though, or Cheese Touch's head. He looks like a Cheese Touch. I will say. Alright. Oops. Dead, 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 dead. And as long as combat's this easy, I think we'll be fine. Dead. All right. Anyone else? Anyone else got any freaking problems? What's this? Pull the four levers in the correct order, or else. Boy, that's ominous. Uh, let's see. You can't read it from here. Okay, let me go around then. Tap a block to grab it, then tap the arrows that appear to move it. Oh, okay. So you gotta hold it down, and there's some keys. It's a good thing Grandpa taught me how to do a side slash. From pulling the levers, second from the left. Pulling four levers, where might those be, I wonder? Well, I bet this hint will come in handy. How about we write it on our map? Do that, tap the map icon, scribble, just press down the control pad. Cool. I'm not doing that. Alright. So I know that I need to pull this one first. It's very helpful information. Oh, there's another block. And there we go. Alright. Die. Boom. I killed three at a time. What's this? A red rupee? That's worth 20. That's good news. I'm pulling the levers. F uh, second is first on the left. Last is second from the right. Okay, so it goes 2, 1, 4, 3. 2, 1, 4, 3. Got it. Stop. 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 So 2, 1. And then over here. 4, 3. Awesome. Cool. I think it plays that every time. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna beat this. Oh no! Hold still. Boom! Look at that. That's beautiful. Got him. Okay, so they're a little hard to hit, I will say. I like the enemies that hold still. Die. When he comes back. Get around to this side here. Now we get around to this side here, uh, this side here. And then we'll lock him out. Yeah. Where are you gonna go now? Where are you gonna go now, punk? Alright. How about this way? That's locked. That's where I'm trying to go. Um, I see you. How do I block that door? Alright. 
It's okay. I'm nowhere to be found now. Oh, where do you go now? Where are you? No. Come back, please. I want your key. So I think I just have to wait patiently, maybe? I don't think I have to wait patiently. I feel like that might be the opposite thing of what I need to do. I don't understand. Is there another block that I can move? Because if there's a second block that I can move, just trap them in. That'd be nice. No, that's the way I came in. That's not helpful. Oh, there we go. Die, die. Oh, alright. So once he gets to that point, then he's going to come back and I'll be waiting for him. Got him. Well, where'd the key go? Did I get the key and it just didn't play the fanfare? That's not the case. Um, the mouse is dead and he took the key with him. I cannot progress now. Ah. Uh, this time we'll be waiting for him. Boom. That time I killed him before he went in. Alright. That was terrible. <laughs> Boom. She's open. Let's go inside. Dead. Alright. Man. I don't like this stylus control here. What did I hit? Oh, that's me going on health. Heart. Rupee. Nothing. Heart. Heart. There we go. That'll stop the annoying chiming noise. Ugh, I'm starting to get carpal tunnel already. It's only been half an hour. Oh, look at this little village. Look at this village. Isn't it great? We made it to the port. It's so much further to walk when the bridge is out. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. I've met him once or twice, can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. <laughs> okay, let's head to the port. Alright. Um. Hi there. I don't care. Murkay Islands. Gotcha. That's where I am. Anybody got any health? Any health for me? Any health? Need some health? Want some health? I could go for some health. Be a great time for health. Cuckoo. That's money. Money isn't health. Money can buy health. That's a health. Alright, that's what I was looking for. So that I know I know what I should be doing, but I also know what I will be doing. Not the same thing. Oh my god. A new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift in here to while away the hours, but empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be in here, sir? Take no offense, sir. You'll be more than welcome once you've gone a little further in life. Alright, fine. God, whatever. <laughs> Is that how you people feel when I call you short? I might start, might stop calling you short. It might have to happen. I'm not gonna stop. It never happen. Welcome, shopper. How may I help you? How can I help you? Um, if you want something, tap it. What's this? This rare treasure is a pearl necklace. Just fifty rupees. No, thank you. Uh, if there's something you want, tap it. This looks important. Not sure what it is. Oh, sure. I've got five hundred rupees. I'm um, sorry, you don't have enough money. Okay, well. Some bombs, some health potion, a shield. I do want a shield. Okay, how much? How much? How much? Ha! 80. I don't have 80 rupees. Let's go farm for rupees then. Bye. Break the break, just break. Just give me rupees. 67. 68, we're making a progress now. Oh, there we go. Oops. 73. Seven more. Let's do it. Give me some money. 74. That's a heart. 
Does this grow back? No, let's, let's cut down. Let's cut down for good. Uh, over here. Alright. Um, over here. Oh, there we go. One more. Give me a green. Give me the green. Give me green. Alright. Give me some green. There we go. I have enough to buy shield now. Alright, you're scared of me. Wow. You hit one cuckoo and suddenly they all run in fear of you. Crazy. Alright, give me that shield, lady. Give me that shield. Want the shield? Just 80 rupees. Buy it. Alright. Defend yourself from minor attacks just by holding it. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. I don't have any more money. Alright. Uh, do I have to equip a shield? Do I have to equip it? Collection. Um. I don't think I have to equip it. Is it... No. Is there a button to press? Uh, what? Oh. Uh, that's not the button. Sorry. Playing on the Wii U. Um. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? It looks like a ship. It is pretty remarkable. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. It belongs to a sea captain that goes by the name of Lineback. You're not Lineback? A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world. He never seen defeat. What? You're searching, for, you're searching for Lineback? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Lineback has vanished to. Yeah, I was just talking to him. He said, uh... He said I'm too short. Uh, that's the... That's where I bought my shield. I, I want to go to this door. This looks like a milk bar, right? You there. You know, I've been to a lot of places, but the milk here is the best, yum. You there. A new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drifting here, but empty at the moment. I'm just sure it's more welcome. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. And that chair there knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King? Listen up, young'un. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. In that temple upon the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on that place that sucks the souls from all who enter. None dare to step into the temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, steer clear. That's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist. What? Where is it? Right here on your map. You're not actually going there, are you? Nope, I would never. Okay, bye, I'm going to the temple. The Ocean King. Alright, so I gotta go this way now. Have I been in this house? I have not been in this house. Whose house am I about to break into? You got any pots for me to steal? Any money? Heard of the fortune teller Astrid? Nope. I've heard that Astrid lives on the Isle of Ember. The ghost ship, all those who vanished, she saw it all in advance. It's sad. I bet she'd know that it'd take... I wish you know what it'd take for me to find a girlfriend. I thought you were a girl, honestly. Same. That's the most relatable character in the game. Okay. I don't really want to talk to Astrid right now, though. I've got more important things to worry about. <laughs> yeah, how's that feel? I'm trying to figure out how to roll. Because it said, like... Do little circles. Okay. Oh. I got a big green rupee. Can't you see it? Can't you tell what I'm holding by looking at the screen right now? It's worth a hundred rupees. Hell yeah. Ouch. Alright, so I'm gonna bring the map back down. And we're gonna erase... Erase some squiggles there. Here. Uh, Here. Here. There we go. That's a clean map. That's a pretty map right there. Can't bring that. Cut that down just yet. Oh, that's a bomb wall. I can crack that with a bomb. As soon as I get one. And over here. 
I keep like leaning so I can see the screen. What we got here? This looks like the temple that they were just talking about. Aha! So this is the temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King. I wonder what the Ocean King is. But the temple has fallen into ruin and people say it ruins. The temple has fallen into ruin and people say it ruins any who enter. That's weird that you would use ruin as the noun and the verb. That was a strange choice. Still, we have to find line back. So let's dive right on in, cheese touch. Let's just dive right in. That's the thing that people say, right? The Temple of the Ocean King. Is this my first dungeon temple? I guess it's a temple. Uh, I immediately hate that skull that I was greeted with. Whoa, look, cheese touch. What do you think his name was? Looks like some skeleton. What is it doing here? Hang on, this hat over here says lineback. You don't think this could be lineback? I do think it could be lineback. This is really starting to creep me out. Hey. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go away. I don't want to touch this anymore. Hey! Wait! Did you hear something, Cheese Touch? Yeah. It sounds like music. Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Hey, there's someone over there, Cheese Touch. I was trying to go that way, but it kept interrupting me. You kid, over here, kid. I'm talking to you. You came at the right time. You're lucky you found me. Lucky for me, but luckier for you. Now help me. Oh, him. Oh, him? That's Lineback. That's Lineback? Hey, are you listening? I said help. What is he screaming about? For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, it's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. Alright, alright. Usually when they say pay attention, that means you gotta pay attention, because if you're not paying attention, you're gonna miss some important information. Oh, he's talking. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here, and I don't know what to do. Normally, I'd free myself without any problem, but I sprained my ankle, and I can't move. Will you help? No way. What? Wait. I Can't you see that I'm begging? Come on, please. No. Kid, you, you, you're just heartless. You've got nothing to lose. Come on, help me. No way. Kid, you're just heartless. You've got nothing to lose. Come on, help me. Fine. God. I knew you'd come through for me, kid. Well, then. I just wanted to see what would happen if I kept telling him no. Do something about these pointy spikes. There's got to be a way to disarm the trapper somewhere around here. Fine, li fine, Lineback. Just wait there. Let's help him out, Cheese Touch. Oh, hey, wait a second. There's something I forgot to tell you. One thing you should know about this temple. It'll suck the life out of you. Why didn't you tell us this sooner? It's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple will suck the life out of you all the time. I'm not sure why, but as long as you stand on areas like this, you'll be okay. Show me that map. Show me that map. See all those purple spaces? You mean this map? They are probably safe zones. Were you, were you listening? Did you get all that? Yes, I was. Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. Now get me out of here. Alright, all right, let's see. Uh, there's a purple area. Oops, right here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Boom. Boom. Okay. Can I do anything about that door? It looks like I can't. This is immediately stressful. Shink. Alright, line back. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it. Okay, I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! What a guy. What a guy. Ooh, I like the look of that. Nothing is there. <laughs> oh no, it's empty. I wonder if someone got to it before us. Maybe a lineback got it. Hmm. Probably shouldn't go collecting all the hearts at once. You! Phew, I think we could take a quick breather. Hey, you said you sprained your ankle. You're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Bah, it's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey kid, you're pretty brave for someone so short. Why, why are all the short jokes today, man? I mean, not as brave as me, 
but not too shabby. So your name's Cheese Touch, huh? That's a weird name. Yeah, my sister picked it out. The name's Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning, but then I got myself stuck in that trap. You idiot. This place will suck the life out of you if you let it. Blasted temple. What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, uh, sorry, anyway. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. And what do you want from me, kid? <laughs> what? You're looking for the ghost ship? <laughs> so you're trying to get your mitts on the treasure. Treasure? What are you even talking about? She's such as trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. We came hoping you might know more about it. Oh, really? Boo-hoo, how sweet I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. If that's what this is about, I'm on board. I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship, too. It was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Sorry, his voice gives me the yawns, apparently. Liar, I just saw you running like a rabbit. N no, no you didn't. That was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. The pain is uh, unbearable. Agony. Oh. Oh, the pain. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship? What was Link doing, anyways? Go on without me, kid. We're just going to linger on that for a sec. Like, why does everybody feel the need to pick Link up and shake him violently? Go grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need to find the ship. Got that? You're faking it. You're faking it. I think you're just scared. <laughs> Yeah. Not a chance. Normally I'd be leading the charge down there, but I know how much it means to cheese touch. I'm letting him have the glory of saving his friend. Yeah, real smooth. Real smooth, bro. Real smooth. So anyway, here, take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. Heh. <laughs> I got a little, little wobbly animation. You got a small key. It'll open a locked door. You know what you've got to do. You know what you've got to do, so get to it. Go on. Uh, go now. Oh, and good luck in there, kid. Go now. Goodbye now. Stop standing around. Uh, I'm actually not going to fall for the same trap that he fell for. Of course I am. Okay. Just making sure. Nothing. There we go. I need as much health as I can get at this point. Uh, Alright, so is this the door? The door won't budge. The design of the door just must mean something. I know what it means. I don't know what it means in the context of this game, but I know what that si symbol is. Alright. Pain. Pain. Alright. There we go. Tink. Good. Is that timed? Is this a timed thing? I feel like it's timed. I just want to see what happens. How much time do I have to do, to do what? Oh, I think I know what I have to rush to do. So if I hit this one, and then I run over here. And then we run over here, we'll hit this one. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I had to hit both. That makes sense. It's a very symmetrical temple. Rude. That was rude. Break the pots. And this is a map. A sea chart, rather. I'm sorry, it's a sea chart. Nice. So uh, apparently there's three to find. Would be my guess. It must be an important clue to find the ghost to finding the ghost ship. You should show it to Lineback. Do I have to? Whoa, look at that old sea chart. I wonder if that's the clue to, uh, yeah, whatever. We all know, let's just do the thing and shut up. Line back, wait. Hey, where's line back? Can you believe the nerve of that guy? Making us go in here by ourselves. Now we've got the sea chart, I've got some words for him. Like, thanks for letting us find that. Goodbye forever, jackass. All right. Enter the temple in search of the treasure. But monsters that could not be slain with the sword stalk the corridors. Uh, okay. 
What's your story? So even if you clear a trap, it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map, but I couldn't make notes on maps that have these icons. Oh yeah, the no uh, the no map icon thing, or the no mark icon. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments, it drained the life right out of me. Maybe I should have read all that before going in. Would have been cool. Oh ho, if it isn't the little monkey and his twinkly little pal. Slow getting the goods, eh? Slow? How dare you? You're quick enough to run off injury and all. I, I read that weird, but that's fine. What an insult. I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain with assault puts his ship before his own safety, I tell you. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, a map. Let me add it. Bah, what's this? Some boring old sea map? Oh, now I see it. It is, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map. If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking. The ghost ship. And by we, I mean me. Farewell, little monkey. I'm off to find adventure. Yeah, good luck getting any adventure. Did he really just do that? He muscles in on our map and runs off with it. What should we do next? Meet Linebeck at a ship, Cheese Touch? No, I, th I say we just let him have it. Like, I got the map memorized. That map ain't going anywhere. Uh, I do want to blow that up, though. So I'm going to go back down, go back down to town, kill some of these little turd things. Uh, a bu uh, I don't remember what they're called. But they're stupid, and they, they're mean, and they're usually green, so it's weird that they're red today. <coughs> there we go. I'm going to go back to the shop. Hi, Cuckoo. Hi. Excuse me. Trying to get through here. How much are bombs? I don't remember even looking. Hey. <coughs> 119. Uh, 10 bombs, 50 rupees. I'll do it. Oh, I don't have a bomb bag. Well, whoop de doo And then this was 800, I think. 500. Okay. I'm almost there. We'll have to come back for that later. Once I find more about what everything is worth and... You know, if it's a worthy investment, 500 rupees for a red thing. Well, look who's gracing our presence. It's Old Man Ocious. The bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the temple, Cheese Touch. Very courageous for one so early in his years. I'm 23. You sent me into that treacherous temple, you old barnacle. Oh, you sent me into that tre- any who enter the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal, and most would lose heart and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently there are true heroes among us. Preen my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sunk by now if our young friend here hadn't shown up. I was injured. A typical day I blazed through one or two such temples, b before breakfast. Calm yourself, Linebeck, and tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I've inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man, what do you know of this map? Ho, ho, ho. Has the map's puzzle eluded you, Linebeck? If I may see the map. Is a puzzle? Um, I don't really see a puzzle. A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? Yeah. This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. I trust you can solve the puzzle cheese touch. After all, touch is in your name. Here, 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 Hey, look at that, a secret mark on the map. Yeah. That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there, and she sees far, cheese touch. Yeah, we've, we've talked about it a little bit. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. His voice is going to shift so much throughout this playthrough, I'm just saying. So we're off to the Isle of Ember, then. Sheila, I'd like you to go with Cheese Touch. You'll be an essential. You'll be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. And by seeing the outside world, you might just find your lost memories. Will do. Happy to help. 
Sorry that we have to pal around with Lineback, though. Still, I'm glad to sail the seas and see the world. I like how we're just like, sorry we have to put up with that guy over there. What? Don't tell me that I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff, too. Hey, don't call me a twinkly bit of fluff, okay? Bah, fine then. I just spat all over my sw or my gamepad. That was gross. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail, Cheese Touch? I'm ready. Then climb aboard the open sea calls. Alright. Ooh, pardon you. It's off, to the o it's off to the open sea with us, then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. Okay. Whee! Cancel. Whee! Dang it. Whee! Go. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. But that's where I'm going. And we're off. Listen to this triumphant music here. Oh, almost forgot. What? See the engine on the right? Tap stop just to stop and to resume course tap go. Why not see if you want to look around the sea, touch the screen's edge. Stay alert up there. Touch touch up, down, left, and right to look in all directions. Alright. Stop. Alright. I'm just getting a feel for what this should look like. And go. It's going to be a long journey. So let's go, let's do it! Alright. How about, how about instead of doing this? Um. Wait, put the map down. C chart. There we go. Do I have to complete the route? There we go. So let's do down here instead. Let's go to the Isle of Ember. Hard turn to port! Alright. We made it. Isle of Ember. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here! What a perilous journey. I mean, like, perilous, as in there was no perils at all. P I E R I L L E S S. A sterling example of my helmsmanship. Impressed, Cheese Touch? What? You didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched our course on the sea chart? Yeah, Cheese touched it. I'm oh, sorry, I was trying to figure out who's saying that. What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. I, I find it weird that a fairy would be a piece of fluff. Like, are fairies fluffy? But you get me right, Cheese Touch. But you get me right, Cheese Touch. No. I'm going to be as hostile as I can to this guy. Abuse your captain, will you? Okay, little adventure monkey. Why don't you run off and find Astrid? I'll be right here waiting for you, taking care of my ship. <laughs> What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? You're scared? I've never scared you, little fluttering shrimp. You should go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for, ship for your sakes. How about in here? Is this Astrid? Uh, this is an empty room. Alright, well that was neat. Ah, right, that's good stuff. Could uh could go for some extra heart containers. There's usually one at the end of every temple. But uh not not so much the case this time. Oh, I gotta climb climb a staircase. What's this? You can't read it from here. Okay. Fortune teller. There we go. Astrid Astrid, let me in. Couldn't help but notice there's a lack of fortune teller in here. Downstairs, he, she, they, it. I'm stuck down here. Oh, Octorox. I'm actually really glad Octorox are in this game. Octorox are one of the best enemies. Rupee, kill it, kill it. I should say they're most iconic. All right. And I think they're in every Zelda game. I, if, if I remember correctly, they're in every Zelda game. Hang on, Jeez Dutch. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Yeah, you sense that? Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay. Call out something now. Loud and clear. Yeah. 
Mark the locations of our island's three torches. Alright. That's fine. Wait, she's touched. You're just gonna leave without calling out? There's something back there. Someone back there. And to call out, you should say something into the mic. I am saying into the mic. Hello? Hey, back there. Who? Who's there? That's neat. Someone heard you. You did it, Cheese Touch. Are oh, the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out there. Who are you? Are you the fortune teller, Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. What's that? Being trapped? I can't open the door from the inside. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but would you open it? Yep. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? Yeah, I was just looking at that. That map is somehow the key to opening the door. Not a very good key. Uh, unfortunately, only my assistant Kayo knows the secret of it. Okay, got it. So we just have to find Kayo, 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 Kayo. That's what we'll call him. Kayo to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Kayo! Microphone! Okay. I'm not sure if that would work again. It's pretty cool. Have to uh, talk into the mic to uh, talk to somebody in the game. Is there a Kayo in here? Book. If you're reading my words, it means that I have fallen to fate. Oh no. So look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty, Kayo. Well, that's just great. Cheese touch. This is Kayo's journal. Looks like he traveled to the east side of the island. Let's go that way too. So I gotta find Kayo to find Astrid to find Zelda. You're dead. You're dead. I need as many rupees as I can. At least 500. Bang. Boom. Oh. An, electric an electricity. Summit path. Approval needed for entry. Alright. That's cool. We'll just come back to that later. Oh no, tech tights. Spoiders. Spoiders. Alright. Don't drop anything for me. That's cool. You're dead. What you got for me, bro? Boing. To open the summit gate, you need the, what the fortune teller has to offer. Whether you believe in her fortunes, however, it's up to you. So now I've just added another layer. Eh, what are you? Golden. Alright. Oh, I jumped down. There's a red rupee up there, too. Sheesh. Alright. Little circles, little circles, little circles, little circles. Whatever, that's fine. Um, I'm not going east anymore, I've noticed. So let's just... I think those guys all like, turn into lightning, right? Stay away from me! There it is, a fallen adventure. Look, cheese touch. Could go for a heart right about now. Be neat. Could be cool, maybe. Maybe, maybe drop a heart, heart. Maybe drop a rupee. Thank you, that helps. Are there any hearts in here? Well, there's a rupee. As long as I've got full money, right? Who needs full health when you've got full money? Um, brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, it's a ghost. Get him, cheese touch. Yeah, let me kill a ghost. Ah, wait, give me. Ah, wait, give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kayo. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look what's become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Yeah, that's how I feel after. Never mind. Of graver concern, though, it's what happened to. A of graver concern, though, is what happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She's asked us. She asked us to open the door that locked her in. Well, what? So Miss Astrid is all right? Well, then please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and maybe you'll be able to f open the door. One torch is right here. Make a note on your map, lest you forget. Map. Torch right here. 
Okay. Please take care of Astrid. Uh, we're still missing a couple torches there, my friend. Okay. Roll under the tree, please. Roll under the tree, please. Well, that's how I die. And honestly, that seems like a good stopping point for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, that was Phantom Hourglass, episode one. In the next episode, we're going to not die. We're going to find the three torches. And we're going to save Astrid. So until next time, I'll see you next time.